Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm not very, I'm not excited for this video. I'm not excited. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not ready for this video. Um, a little, a little while ago, um, like around, maybe at least three weeks, I purchased the Color Rain Vivid Pigments, and they intimidate me. This beauty product intimidates me I don't know what to do um so we're gonna trial and error and do it together um so here is my color rain um this is the extra large magnetic palette I got this last year Black Friday when it was on sale for like $27 um and it is full I have different brands in here but up here as you can see in this corner I have the entire set of the Color Rain Vivid Pigments. Now, this whole set did cost me $55. And you get 16. Yeah, 16 shades. So, we're going to figure it out. So, up here, I have the purples, then the blues, and then we get the greens, the reds, pinks, the, like, pinky neutrals, and yellow. That yellow is beautiful. So we're going to try, if you want, like, I don't know, if you guys want a video on this whole palette, let me know, like, what's in it. I probably won't be able to do swatches. I'll probably swatch a few, but, yeah. And it holds 96 eyeshadows. Oops. So we're going to go ahead and try to create a look, right? So we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. So I'm first going to go in with that vivid yellow. And I will leave the names of each shade on the screen. And this is my Morphe E30. Look at that pigment. Ooh. And I'm going to blend this on the outer part of my crease. I currently don't have my MAC Paint Pot, so I've already primed my eyes with my Fenty um, eye primer. And my eyebrows desperately need to be waxed. I'm probably going to have to do that tomorrow. Because. And it's going to be hard for me to do this. But I'm just going to show you guys each shade. So we did the yellow. And now we're going to. And now we're going to dip into. A little bit of that. Pink. Right here. And like blend it into the crease. Making sure the pink and the yellow connect. These shades truly are like pigment times 100. Like, I can't. So I'm just going to go back into my yellow and go back and forth between the colors as much as I can to make sure they blend into one another. So now I'm dipping into that red and I'm just going to put it on the outer, outer portion of the eye. When you build these, they like, the pigment is insane and they still blend beautifully. So for the lid, I'm gonna use a little bit of these two coral shades. And blend the lid shade like make sure I'm, I'm making sure that I blend it into all the other shades so it looks like they just all like look blended okay. 
All right, guys, before I put lash and highlight and lips and everything, I'm going to work on the lower lash line. So I'm going to take that red shade we use and put it on the outer portion of the lower lash line. And just because, you know, we're already here, I'm going to add a little bit of these two purples. Also, just to add like a little pop. Literally just a little bit. Wow, that's pigment. And blend that into the red. Wow. And now I'm going in with that lighter purple and blending that. And then I'm going to take what I was with of that yellow and just blend out the edges so that it's not so blunt. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to take one of these eyeshadows and put it in my inner corner. I'm going to take Colored Rain. I'm going to try to stick it to Colored Rain, which is on this side of the palette. I'm going to take this light champagne gold, which I believe is called Clutch Pearls. Okay, so now I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face. Like, so I have to do lashes, lip highlight, fix my hair, change my shirt. Cause I was gonna wear this shirt, but I decided not to wear this shirt. So I gotta find a different shirt, and then I will be right back. So really quickly, I'm gonna give you guys swatches. So this is the first four purple shades. Swatches so suck. These are the first four purple shades. The next set are the blue shades. And these are those shades. Sorry, they're sloppy. The red and the pink didn't swatch well. Then the pan, they feel like really, really dry. But they blend out really nicely on the eyes. So I guess that's okay. But and these are the last are the last four shades. Alright guys, so overall, I really enjoyed the shades that I use. They are very pigmented. Like, when you first go in with that first layer of color, you're just like, oh, okay. And then you build it another a little bit, and you're like, wow. Like, literally, it blows my mind. This look is kind of different for me. I did go ahead and try to do, like, really blend in shades together. Um, I like the way the look came out. I really like these shadows. So if you're looking for some really nice colorful shadows, definitely check out the Color Rain Vivid Pigments. Um, like I said, the whole set was $55. I believe they're $7.99 a piece. Maybe even $6.99. If you guys want a video on my big old palette, again, this holds 96 eyeshadows. Let me know because mine is full. Um... And yeah, I really do like it. It's a very colorful summertime look. Um, my highlight is Nefertiti by Juvia's Place. I will link that video right here. Just have to throw that in there. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. It's very colorful. Um, and even though it's a really gloomy day outside in New York City, it's like not too much because I darken the lower lash line. I really do like these colors. I really want to play with the greens in here. That might be an upcoming video. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys have these, plan to pick them up. Um, and I will see you all in the next one. Mwah.